mi suelo aire querido, guarde no yo te vuelvo a ver, no habrá más pena ni olvido. Benvenidos, I'm Antoinette Ford, and I'm here to show you one of my favorite cities in the world. We're here today in Buenos Aires, Argentina, on Nueva de Julio, in front of the obelisk, the center of the town. We're going to enjoy roaming around this metropolitan city with a population of over four million people. We'll do a bit of shopping, we'll stop for a coffee, we'll have a little steak for lunch, and enjoy some of the beautiful sights and sound of this amazing city, the Paris of South America. So come with me. We're going to have an amazing day. Here we are in Florida Avenue, one of the most famous streets in Buenos Aires. This is the shopping street with everything you can imagine here. Galleria Pacifico, cafes, and lots of lots of great places to buy things that you can't leave Argentina without. Leather boots, handbags, leather coats. We don't have a lot of time on this tour, but if you find yourself with an hour or so free time, time for disfrutarlo, as we say here in Argentina, time for enjoying yourself, this is the place to be. It's the shopping area of Buenos Aires, Florida Avenue. So come on, let's go shopping. <laughs> Galleria Pacifica. Borro una lágrima de pena a que beautiful La Boca, the port city of Buenos Aires. This is actually where Aristotle Onassis got his start buying his first frigate here at the age of 19. As you look around, you see all of these beautiful buildings painted in spectacular colors. As a port city, they would come in, the immigrants from the Italy and Spain and other parts of the world would come here, and on those boats they would carry cans of paint. So each house is painted uniquely in its different colors, yellow, blue, orange, green. So here in the book we find not only tango but of course traditional dancing that they would have been doing on the pampas here in Argentina. This is El Pariso. A Parisia here in La Boca. We're going to stop and have some lunch and of course you couldn't have lunch in Argentina without having a beautiful piece of beef and a glass of Argentine Malbec wine. This is the Rigoletta Cemetery. This is where Eva Perón is buried. And of course, no visit would be complete to Buenos Aires without visiting her last resting place. So here you can find all kinds of beautiful architecture, everything from French Renaissance architecture to the most modern rationalist type of architecture that you can find anywhere in the world. Well, here in San Telmo, in front of Plaza Defense, it's pretty quiet on a Tuesday afternoon, but you can still find many beautiful antiques like this set of knives that you would have if you were having your own asado at home. Well, here we are in front of Casa Rosada, the most famous house in Buenos Aires, the pink house. Hi, here we are in Rigoletta, one of my favorite neighborhoods and the most upscale neighborhood of all of Buenos Aires. I'm standing now in front of La Biela, one of my favorite cafes. Everybody from Pope Francis to Robert De Niro has had a cafe here. So you have to imagine this is where the high, the mighty, the powerful, and people like us who want to enjoy a nice cup of coffee come here in Buenos Aires. So join me, we'll have a nice cortado, which is a small Italian coffee with a few drops of milk. Let's find a nice table. What an amazing day we've had here in Buenos Aires. So much to see and do, and we're just covering a little bit of it on this very short time we have together. You know, I travel not only because it's my passion, but it's what I do for a living. I get so excited about sharing interesting places with people like you. And for me, it's always about the people, hearing their stories and their perspectives, and sharing what I know about each and every country that we visit. I want to thank you for joining me in this beautiful country of Argentina. If we only had enough time, we could go from north in Misiones with the great Iguazu 
falls all the way down to Ishwaya, to the Antarctic area, which is so beautiful this time of year. But we'll have to save that for next time. I want to say cheers and safe travels to you from La Biela in Buenos Aires.